Hi, this is Lewis from SoFly, and in this video I'm going to show you how to build an affiliate store with WPL Import. So I have WPL Import installed, WooCommerce installed, we use WooCommerce uh, to manage all the products, the affiliate products, and an otherwise blank, blank WordPress install, no products uploaded yet. So let's use WPL Import to import a file of affiliate products. So here I have this uh, file called the flipflopper.xml. It's a data feed from Avent Link, and it has a bunch of flip-flops, a bunch of shoes in it. So we upload the file in step one of WPL import and choose to import to WooCommerce products. So you need WPL import and our WooCommerce add-on to do this. We have 34 products in this file. Continue to step three. And now we'll just drag and drop to map the data in the XML feed to the appropriate places in WordPress. So I'll set the uh, title to the product name, import the long description. We'll go to the WooCommerce add-on, put in the SKU, the retail price, the sale price. Are there any attributes here that we might want to import? Um, we do have color and size. Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to use what's called a for each loop because we to import each color because we have many different colors and size available for these. So check out how to do this. For each. And this should output a pipe separated list of the different colors. So here we go. Um, let's get rid of the new lines here. And WooCommerce likes your attributes to be separated with a pipe. That's just how WooCommerce works. So in the attribute section, we'll have one called color. And we'll do another one called size. And there we go. Now we'll import the images. Image URL. Oh, and I forgot, we should set it to be an affiliate product and then enter in the product URL. That's our affiliate link right here. So that's everything we need to do on the screen. Oh, we can set up the uh, categories as well. Why not? Where are the categories? Here we have. Uh, we have parent categories. And then a subcategory. And then a sub subcategory. Perfect. Okay, let's continue to step four. And now we just need to detect a unique identifier that'll allow WPL import to detect duplicates. Just click auto detect. And that's something unique for each record in the file. Continue, confirm and run import. And I'll pause the video now and come back once it downloads 34 images. It might take 30 seconds or a minute. Actually, that went relatively quickly, so no pause necessary. Okay, let's go take a look at our shop page now. And here are all of our affiliate products. We click buy product, and we're taken over to the flip flopper with our affiliate link. So that's how easy it is to build an affiliate store with WPL import. Now I wanna show you one more thing, how to make the sidebar cool using WooCommerce. So let's go set up a sidebar. We go to appearance, widgets. And then we want to set up a shop sidebar. I guess we could probably just use the main sidebar. Let's make sure this is the sidebar that shows on the shop page. Um, let's go to the shop page. Perfect, it is. Okay, so let's delete all these widgets. We don't need these. 
uh, we're going to set up what's called WooCommerce Layered Navigation. So let's just delete this and this. I wish WordPress had a mass delete function for sidebars. Okay, and now let's set up WooCommerce Layered Navigation. So this is Active Layered Nav, Custom Attributes. Um, Here, layered nav and layered nav filters. So we're going to filter by our color attribute, um, display it as a list. And then if you remember, we also imported the size attributes. So let's just add a, oh, that's a filters, another layered nav, size. And let's put the filters on the top. And let's also add a way to filter by price. Save that. Now let's go back to our shop page and check it out. Um, so here we go. Uh, we can filter by price. Let's see only flip flops above $102. Those are pretty expensive flip flops. Only ones that are black slash black. There we go. Um, only ones available in certain sizes, or you could just clear the filters by deleting these right here. And that's how to build an affiliate store with WPL Import. Now, you might notice that I didn't try to tell you how easy WPL Import is to use, how it will make you money, all that kind of stuff. Um, because for most affiliate marketers, it really won't. Um, it's not that easy to use. If you're new to affiliate marketing, um, don't use this tool. It is for importing XML and CSV files to WordPress. If you don't know how to get a data feed from your affiliate network, if you don't know how to build a WordPress site, if you don't know how to drive traffic, this is not the product for you. Um, however, if you're an advanced affiliate marketer, you need to import XML and CSV files, you wanna build affiliate stores. We have customers using it for coupon feeds. It's a great product, it's very powerful. I don't want to misguide anyone and claim it's really easy to use. It is easy to use if you are, you know, if you know what you're doing. But this isn't one of those get rich quick type products that you might see on Warrior Forum. It's a very advanced tool for importing very complex data into WordPress.